Hola amigos de TechCentra, hoy estamos con Marcel, él es el experto de ASUS que nos va a contar un poco sobre el nuevo lineup de Zenfone 4 y básicamente vamos a hacer la entrevista en inglés para darle un poco más de dinamismo. Hi Marcel, how Hi. are you? I'm fine, thank you for having me here. Okay, can you tell us a little bit of what you do in ASUS? Well, right now I'm the person in charge for all the global content, everything we create as a content, marketing, marketing strategy inside ASUS at the global level and now so I'm taking care of all South America marketing wow. activities. That's a huge, huge deal. <laughs> it's a lot of work, yes. A lot okay. of work. So we have seen a lot of different phones in the Zenfone 4 lineup. So can sure. you tell us a little bit about each phone? The, what kind of uh, profile does it have? Um, I think we have different phones for different parts of South America yeah, because I the lineups see. change, because the people change and cost-wise change, each country has a different profile, okay. right? Colombia, mainly, uh, we select the Zenfone 4 Max, yep. which has an amazing battery of 5,000 mAh. And we put so much effort in making not only the battery big, but the product thin. But at the same time, how we optimize the software and the right processor, which is a Qualcomm Snapdragon, to not kill all the battery so fast. So actually, You can have a big, big, huge battery in your phone, but if the software is not optimized, if it's not the, a good processor that can be economic in yeah. the battery, it will kill the battery even faster. So actually, for Zenfone 4 Max, we put the both words together. So this is the best about Zenfone 4 Max. And the price-wise also is really good. Uh, actually, Zenfone 4, which is our middle-high product, has a very good price for its offering, like two cameras in the back, one is wide, the other one is a very top Sony camera. You can find this camera also, the same sensor on Samsung Galaxy S8, okay. but a much lower price. Yeah. You know, and with the new Qualcomm architecture, the 630, it's more economic and delivers a lot of more performance than the previous one, the 625. So this is the evolution. Actually, 630, it's a, a, there's a heritage from the 800 series. It's the same kind of graphics, it's the same kind of image processing, the same kind of cores, and it's an octa-core processor, you know? So deliver a high performance, but don't kill the battery as well. And Zenfone 4, we also, if you compare it to Zenfone 3, yeah. we enhance and increase the battery, but we make the product thinner. It's yeah. thinner, but at the same time, there's more battery, from 3,000 on Zenfone 3 to 3,300. Yeah, and it's, it has a really good look. Yeah, and Zenfone 4 Pro, this is our flagship phone, is the first of its kind to have three Sony sensor cameras. Two in the back, one in the front for the selfies. It's an amazing product with 800 series, 835 is the, the most updated, yeah. the most powerful processor in the market right now. And the screen is beautiful, it's a OLED screen. Okay, so there is one question that pop up here. Sure. So what's the kind of profile that should buy the same phone, the plain one, and the same phone for Plug Pro? What's that's the a, difference? Yeah, that's, that's the very good question yep. because we believe that one product doesn't fit all. Okay. We believe, that's why we have many. And they are very different, the proposition to the consumers, to the end user. Max is for those who want to be all the time on. But there are two max also. Yes. So <laughs> because because also there's price difference and price gaps. You can have a better max if you want it, or you can have a more economic one if you don't have all the money, if you don't fit in your pocket, in your wallet. So the idea here is max is to keep you on all the time. If you are very active on the phone, can be for messaging, can be for social network, can be for talking, max is the best product for you. If you want to go up to Zenfone 4, it means you want to play some games that are a little bit heavier. Okay. If you want to have the best camera experience, that will be on Zenfone 4 for sure. Back cameras. You know? but, but there are two different types of yes. features now. The wide angular and the focus. Exactly. On the Zenfone 4, we have the wide angle. So if you think wide angle is the best choice for you, not the zoom, yeah. so Zenfone 4 is the best product for you. But if you think that the zoom is really important, you want the best cameras for all cameras available in the market. You want the best panel in the market. AMOLED, super full resolution, brighter full colors. If you want the best processor in the market, 
This one will be Zenfone 4 Pro. Okay, so we go for the Pro. Exactly. And on Pro, we also enhance the battery because on Zenfone 4, we have 3,300, but Pro, we have 3,600. Because we know 800 series, they suck it up more energy when we are asking them more performance. Okay. And uh, there is a tricky question. What happens with the waterproof thing? Are we going to see it in the Asus lineup in the next lot? kind of uh, families or you know we I'm a big fan of waterproof I, I want our phones to have a waterproof but there is two points you have to consider about waterproof the first one is the cost related yeah uh, when you do waterproof in a product the cost goes super high okay and if you want to be competitive with waterproof it's really hard right now if you go down okay so this is one but the second one is more important People are not asking for that as a major factor for buying in their decision process. The decision process is the screen quality, speed, battery. camera quality, battery. Those are the decision factors. If you have a waterproof product, but they lack on any of those points I just mentioned to you, probably someone will rather to have another phone that can fulfill those points first. Okay, okay. Tell me a little bit about the ASUS market share in Latin America. We are growing, but we still, in my opinion, we still baby steps right now. Why? We are very early in this market. We are a baby in this market. We are in this market for only three years. We are doing smartphones for three years only. Yeah, it's fairly new. It, it's quite new actually, <laughs> right? So that's why I say we're still a baby, but it's really interesting to see from three years ago when we started with Zenfone, a plastic product, yeah. Intel, Intel architecture, you know, basic one, and then we start to grow from one generation to another, one year difference to the first Zenfone, to the Zenfone 2, and then changing for architecture, changing construction from plastic to glass and metal, changing everything, better cameras, and now we are in Zenfone 4, and it's a huge, huge evolution for us. Yeah, we see. We also feel more ready for other markets. Yeah, what happened with the selfie one? Why don't we have it in Colombia? That's a big discussion right now. Uh, we don't have it in Colombia because selfie right now, we don't find a good cost for Colombia. We need to tweak the cost for Colombia so we can have the selfie. And what happened in Brazil? Why don't you guys have the Pro? We do. Uh, we don't have the Pro. The Pro. The, 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 the True. We don't have the Pro, Yeah. but we have the Snapdragon 660 on the Zenfone 4 which deliver a similar uh, performance than the 800 series. So there is a huge difference between the customers from Brazil and the rest of Latin America. Each country has a different profile and they need to understand each country, how they work and what people really want, what they want as specs, what they want as price, how they understand price versus specs. So when you understand that, then you build your lineup and you focus on what can make you grow. Okay, thank you and we look forward to see ASUS Samsung 4 in Colombia. Thank you very much.